So this video I have been called to make today has just came about in the last couple of weeks since returning from a trip to Costa Rica. I know for some of you, you're like, please stop talking about this. Uh, but I can't because this this journey for me, this this holiday was just more more than a holiday to me. It was it was something I, I knew that I've been called to do for such a long time, but I didn't know why. I didn't know why Costa Rica and I didn't know why the exact place that I booked Puerto Viejo didn't realise all of these things. I just knew that this had to be done and I, I really wanted this to happen. So for me, booking um, Costa Rica was a dream. It was on my vision board within six months of being on my vision board. And I have I have wanted to go here for three years, maybe more. Um, up on my vision board for at least six months and it was booked, it was done and I was going um, and I've just came back in May with a complete new mindset and change of way of thinking, way of being, way of wanting to live. Um, this, this trip showed me everything and I just wanted to share um, with you guys and inspire and and really just touch on a subject that I think many of us are struggling to do and many of us might struggle to actually achieve ever in our lives, which I just can't stand by and let happen <laughs> if, I, if I can inspire and have something to do with it. Um, I'm going to talk about coming home to yourself and it's a subject to me that I have struggled with and, and worked on a lot of my life to try and truly find a bit more about who I am as a person and and really letting go of things that I thought were me, programs in my brain that makes me act a certain way or think a certain way, you know, like my coaching really delves into the, to the science behind just exactly how you know, amazing cre of creators that we are. Like we are the creators of our own destiny. Like we create our own, our own visions, and it's us who have to lead ourselves to that point. And if we are coming from a place of lack, low self worth, low self confidence, low self esteem, if we've let things that we've been through define us, like we really don't have a fighting chance at actually really getting to know ourselves because that is so many layers upon layers upon layers of things that have conditioned us to become ourselves and it's not actually really who we are. So having this awareness, I've always been a very aware person since I was like young. I don't know if this resonates with anyone else, but I have always questioned everything since I was very young. From a very young age, I was a very deep thinker. Um, I always had a level of anxiety just from being a very small child also, just because I think I did deeply question everything. And I think for a small child to think that way, that's a very overwhelming mind to have. Um, you know, children usually just go about their day and they kind of get on with things, but I was always like a, a much deeper, a much deeper thinker. Um, these people can also be called um, highly sensitive people. I've always resonated with that, not label, but you know, I've always resonated with those kind of symptoms of an NHSP, you know, the highly empathic, highly intuitive, picking up on other people's vibrations and and really like absorbing them and not really knowing what to do with the pain and taking a lot of other people's pain in and on and carrying that with me. A lot of growing up, a lot of shame and guilt through things that I've been through and feelings I've had to feel and not know how to process and being so young having to deal with that has has, has hindered my life in a way because I just didn't have the awareness and the conscience I do now today. But everything is a journey and everything leads you to where you are now. 
and I very much believe that that you can't come to that any sooner than you you have to you have to go through these things and you have to learn the lessons in life sometimes the hard way and you need to be very aware of you know looking into yourself like a lot deeper as and, and and ask yourself like why am i this way why I, why do i behave in this manner why do i treat people this way why you know why do i you just have to ask a lot of whys <laughs> and i think growing up i have delved so deep into my own healing and my own journey that it's 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 made me realize that this is exactly my purpose in life this is what i'm supposed to do and i have been told through other readings from people that I, I was meant to help other people through my own journey and i truly believed that before i was even told that off other people um i was i was put on this planet to help other people and now i know it's through sharing my own journey my own experience, my own knowledge, my own wisdom from situations that could possibly help people change their mindset and potentially give them the tools to help and support them to question things and to find out who they truly are at their core and their authentic selves because we don't really know who we are. Like we have to uncondition all of the layers that we've been told and taught um, from other people, from, you know, just like who we think we are and what we think we want. And I just need to say that the, the trip that I took was so life changing. And I know some people go away and come back and, you know, they feel like that was great. Like I would go back, like I've came back and this place has completely imprinted on me as a person. So much so that I felt like I had to make this video and it's just pushed me to realize that I need to share this in this platform in this way. So, you know, coming home to yourself is such a, an amazing thing to do. It's, it's probably the, the most honorable and amazing thing that we will ever do for ourselves. And, you know, a lot of people just don't know how to, how to do that and how to go about doing that. And that's something I can help with you know, through my coaching program. But I just want to come on here and speak a little about, 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 you know, coming home and what it, what it means for us and, and what it means for others. And yeah, like for me, it really hit home sort of like last night. For me, it always started really coming in thick and fast, like the feelings of finally feeling free in my own body and my and myself as a person and it's the most liberating feeling i have ever felt i actually just burst into tears from complete and utter joy and gratitude like last night and it's the most amazing feeling and you know some people don't have to worry about digging deep and finding things but i really encourage every human being to to be alone with themselves at some point and to really ask yourself these deep questions, especially if you're struggling with, you know, behavioral pa behavioral pa patterns and, you know, why you act a certain way or how you think a certain way, or if, you're, if you feel like you don't fit in or belong, if you feel like you're very, very much like a codependent person in friendships and relationships, like there's some work to be done there and you're gonna find these answers inside of you and through other people and sometimes they can come in the form of complete strangers like let me tell you this trip for me was such a massive a massive wake-up call for me um i went there with a lot of heaviness a lot of darkness i was still working through some that i didn't i actually thought i had gotten over and when i went there it was like everything just came up to the surface and came out and that just shows that there's constant work, constant evolving. Your life is a constant process of changing and moment to moment, you are a different person. Like you're a different person and you're not your past. Your past does not define you. And I think I've struggled with that a lot in my life and it's caused me a lot of grief and shame, you know, and 
and and frustration from almost feeling like I've lost years of my life just trying to figure things out or beating myself up as to why I, I did things this way or I did things that way. But really that is part of the process of growth and as long at the end of the day as that you have compassion for yourself and awareness that you can take accountability for where things have went wrong in your life and why you're you're being a certain way and you can come to terms with the fact that you've dealt with things in maybe not such a great way. It's not it's not like a a chance for us to like beat ourselves up further. It's a chance for us to look in and realise that why? Why did why did I treat myself this way? Like why did I do that to myself? Why did I allow myself to be used? Why did I self allow myself to be drained? For so long and why do I keep allowing that like why you need to understand the why and the root and I think one of the main things um I realized after coming home from that trip I met I met some people there and it was almost like life was just placing these little like life gurus in front of me one by one and I had these amazing deep connections with people based solely on conversation and hearing about their life and how they think and their mindset on things and the troubles and traumas that they've been through in their life and how they handle them and how they look at things was so inspiring to me that I just had to come back and reevaluate things for myself and it allowed me to deeply understand that what I thought I wanted in life was actually coming from a place of what others wanted for me and it was a massive eye opener um and yeah like i can go in a bit deeper to that maybe that's like another video in itself but i, I can touch on it right now but i've i've massively lived my life for the wants of other people at times and you know dealing with some things that you've gone through in your life whether it be trauma or experiences like it can turn you into a people pleaser in a way and you need to ask yourself why why am i a yes person to everyone or why you know it's only then you start to realize that saying no is you have so much power there like like you are the most important person in your life like you have to live life for you and not other people because i'm, I'm telling you I don't want you to waste the time that I feel like I have. I've not wasted time, but I would I would love if this could inspire someone else to take action and and really actually have a think about what it is you want from life and what really makes you happy. Because I just heard a quote the other day and you know, coming back from that country just absolutely filled me with so much gratitude and drive and passion and fire. Um, and the quote was, life is short and the world is big. And there's just so much to do. There's still so much to, to see and do. There's so many more people you're going to meet. There's so many more amazing conversations you're going to have with people that are going to open your mind up and enlighten you. Um, the one thing that has really resonated with me coming back from that trip is to stop searching for home in other people. It, it truly like hit home for me that I could be so happy and at peace on my own and, and I was at peace on my own there and it allowed me the time to delve into these feelings almost in the, like a safe space because I am myself very much into nature and wellness and outdoors and the vibration of like other good things like like nature is the true healer. Like it is the truest, truest, best medicine that you can have. Like nothing beats it. Like nothing, nothing beats it. And being over in Costa Rica, surrounded in, by the jungle and basically it being like a wellness hub for people that are very into their spirituality or not even, doesn't even, you don't even have to be spiritual. Like people there were there to, you know, come home to themselves. And it was just the most magic, high vibrational energy I have ever felt in my life. Like the pull to go in there was something and then being there was something else. You know, I, as I said, I went there with like a lot of darkness and a lot of things to work through and a lot of things came up for me and 
I'm going to say something that could be very controversial, but I'm I'm sorry, it, it, it needs to be said. I went and I came back and I let a lot of what felt like dead weight go. A lot of things that weren't serving me anymore. A lot of friendships and relationships had to be ended. And, and that can be such a horrible and a harsh feeling to yourself because that is that is a trauma response like you are you're feeling that because not just because it's a trauma response you're a human being who obviously feels deeply and, and and ending something that doesn't serve you anymore doesn't sit well with us because i think we are just programmed to just you know hanging on in there and you know taking so much crap and shit and, and feeling drained from people and we we just think because they're our friends or family or relationship that we need to put up with that like we do not need to put up with that like you do not need to put up with being drained from your your closest support group like these should be people that lift you up these should be people that make you want to get up and have a fire under your arse to get you up and going and and really just push you to to doing what you want to be in life and uplift you and are positive and don't put other people down and don't mess around with you know like bad decisions and and you know they they want the best for themselves too you need to surround yourselves with people that are enlightening for your own mental health and sometimes it comes to the point where we have to just love people from a distance and that's okay I, like i'm here to tell you that, that is okay you're not a bad person you are not a bad person for doing that you have to be selfish in life to an extent you have to worry about number one and that is you and your well-being and your mental health and what is right for you and if that means stepping away from a friendship or a relationship you have to do that and also another lesson i learned was you trying to help save everyone isn't going to save anyone and it's going to drain you it's going to deplete your energy because you're literally not letting them learn the lesson so the best thing to do if you feel like nothing is changing with these relationships in your life is to step back and allow them to flow and organically process as to how they're going to go and for me i really felt like I had to stand by people and save them and pull them out of their dark abyss of depression or anxiety or the way that they're feeling and you I've let like you just can't do that for people the, the change needs to come from them inside the same way as you're here probably watching this video realizing that you're here because you want to make the change for change for you and you can't do this for everyone you can guide people and you can support them Honestly, you can, but by you filling up your cup and being the most truest, authentic version of you is how you're going to inspire people. And being around negativity or people that don't align with your morals and respect code and etc. etc. is only going to drain you. You need to surround yourself with people that lift you up and feel good and who feel like you can resonate with them and you can learn from them because that is what life is about and it doesn't mean you have to cut these people out of your life completely like you can you can do that if you feel like it's just getting way too heavy but you can also just love people from a distance and I know that's so hard especially when it's like family members or friends but you just have to let people be otherwise they're not going to learn they're not going to learn their lesson um and you know I attend like Buddhist teachings and they are very they're very heavily um you know believing in karma and i believe that too and i seen another thing as well and it was like you could be stopping somebody from from getting their karma like that alone is mind-blowing to me because i feel like i've had a very karmic life and i've had a lot of karmic relationships where they've been trying to show me you know so many lessons and and you know, triggers for people are like the jackpot moments, I say, because these are the, the moments we can learn so much about ourselves and relationships hold a mirror back to us, to parts that we still need to work on. 
and lessons we, we, we need to learn. And my intuition had been screaming at me for so long. And I don't know why, because I've be, always been a very highly intuitive person, but I've always silenced it to try and make others happy. And it, it, it's literally, that's, it's just not who, who I am or what I'm going to do anymore. For the sake of my mental health, I come first now. And that way I can show up for the right people. I can attract and align the right people to my life. And that's not a selfish thing at all. That's actually self-care. So please remember that. And, you know, the people that fall away will fall away. And that's the universe just clearing out, you know, who's not meant to be there anymore. Some people are meant to just come for a lesson. Some people stay for longer. Some people stay for lifetimes. And these are the people you have to cherish. Like the people who truly uplift you and bring you joy and who truly care about you are the people you need to surround yourself with. But genuinely like being alone and working through things without the help of others and truly feeling discomfort in the moments where you were you're alone and maybe you would reach out to someone else you know try and let your inner your inner answers come to the surface and you can do this by meditating and spending time alone um taking a trip and going and you know, spending that time with yourself and seeing what comes up for you because no one ever got anywhere from being in their comfort zone. Like that is literally a box and you're keeping yourself contained and nothing good will come from that. Like nothing, I, I promise you, nothing will come from that. Um, and when it's when we accept our genuine and authentic selves, like we can truly feel acceptance and belonging in the world because we're not hiding any parts of us, you know, like we've we've integrated our shadow parts with our light and we need the contrast because we need to know what feels good and what feels wrong, what we want, what we don't want, what we'll put up with, what we won't put up with. You know, it's the yin and yang um, and we just need to deeply come home to ourselves in this lifetime if we can, because honestly, it's the most amazing thing on the planet. Like. The gratitude and the the strength and positivity that I have felt in the last month by coming back and realizing what's important to me, what I actually want from life, who I want to be spending my time with, and my life's purpose and how I'm going to go about that, and really truly believing in myself. Um, this this lady that I follow on Instagram, she's been a massive inspiration, Kim Miller. She has podcasts on Spotify, she's amazing. She always talks about a full body yes. And it's just something that I always say to myself now, like, is this a full body yes? Like, is it? Because if it's just kind of a maybe, you're really gonna have to do some, some thinking around that and why it's not a full body yes. You really need to sharpen your intuition. You need to realize what's good for you, who's good for you and what's right for you. And when you can feel that way, everything just starts to align and come so much more naturally. And you just start to have these people come into your life that are teachers and who are here to like serve your best interests and they have no hidden agendas. These are your people and they will help you to elevate in your life and and they will help you to come home to yourself. But truly, like you are the only one who can do that and your answers have always been there. Sometimes it just takes some people to, to bring them out. But I just, I really hope that anything in this video could resonate with anyone, like any part of it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will be back with much more content. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook and it's just Steph.com mindset.mentor on Instagram. I post quite a lot of content on there. So I'm looking forward to coming back with more. And if you would like to, you know, be coached by me or you're interested in any of my programs or services that I offer, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you and have a blessed day.